player. Lots of room. Low from Milburn, looking for McCarthy. Well done, White. Chris Grant, good. And there's Gilby again. This is where they generally find a free player. The Cats have been pretty good at pushing up and putting pressure on them. Gilby is away. Johnson, look at the kick. Gary. This man, Gilby, by foot. Something to be seen. And my man, Johnson, presented a beautiful target. You can see him there at the bottom of screen. He's running back towards goal, which is becoming more and more prominent in today's game. Turn the defender around, then breaks at the right time. Brad Johnson to equal his career high in any one year. Takes the man on. Now kicks for goal. Brilliant. Audacious. 44 goals for the year for Jono. Oh, well, well, Jeez. well. What was that all about? He's up at the start of the game and then doesn't move. He got so he didn't even committed Tom Harley to the air there and still was able to sneak around. Something that Tommy will just uh, file away, I'm sure, and not fall for again. But first up, it's worked nicely for uh, the champion, the superstar from the dogs. Minson did he dispose of it? The umpire gave him a long, long time. And now the Cats gain control through King. A little tip on the footy. Gives it back to the dogs. Here's Big Will against the line. He gives it off, understandably, to Griffin. High ball forward, Harley and Johnson. And the fist over the line and a holding free kick. He's going to go Brad Johnson's way. And I just get the feeling that the fans wearing blue and white in the stands are getting increasingly frustrated with the way this game's being officiated. Ten to four free kicks in favour of the dogs, but as we say, it's not how many, it's where. Oh, that's a kick. Yeah, it could well be. 25 to 2, the bounces quickly. Chris Jones on the boundary. Gary Ablett's just coming back on the ground. He spent the last five or six quickly. minutes on the bench. He injured himself early in the game. Good work. Brad Johnson. Good play. Right through the middle. Thompson. They're having a real ding dong through their players out there at the moment. Ottens. Umpire ball, that one up quickly. He did, he's red hot. Johnson, Brad Johnson now got Tom Harley and Matthew Scarlett. That's, that's about as good as it gets. Inside 50s for the quarter. Pretty even there. Another free kick. Off oh, the ball. Boy. Scotty West against Cameron Ling. Big so, razor. This is Ray Chamberlain. He's, uh, he can blow the whistle. Smith. Through the middle, running support West. Little kick sideways, not 15. Grant now. Over the top, finds McCormick. Look at the kick, Johnson. Jukish on the lead. Yeah, Chris Grant is Matthew Scarlett's man, correspondingly. Oh, Gary. They're going to make some moves here because Scarlett's getting the cheapies, but Grant is getting forward and setting these types of things up. And the longer this game goes, the harder Tom Harley's going to find it to play on Johnson. You are in Friday night form, Gary. <laughs> As Brad Johnson comes in and looks for his third goal. Got it! What, is that, what does that mean, Brian? Just bringing your A game to Sunday, I'm Gaz. Not talking too much. Oh, no, you're going well. No, Brad Johnson, his work rate is unbelievable. Tom Harley hadn't played a lot of footy. That's the thing he's going to find it hard, but that is not where Tom Harley wants to play. He doesn't want to play full back on a leading forward. Beautiful move, Brian. Forward, then back. Defender doesn't know what to do. That is beautiful work. That brings a tear to my eye, that stuff. <laughs> Morris one on one. Free kick. Hadlett doesn't like it. McMahon, handball over the top. Cross. Steps into the corridor and then sits it high. Johnson, not read by Harley in the air. That, that's understanding between teammates, that one, Jim, because uh, Tom Harley saw the ball go high. Thought it was going to go longer, but Johnson had faded back right. Got three already, Brad Johnson. Drop punt on the way, right through the middle. Dogs back in front. He is a freak, Brad Johnson. He is an unbelievably good player. Tom Harley has been okay. 
nothing uh, too wrong with him, but not much anyone can do about some of those things. His work rate's unbelievable. He reads the play beautifully. He's very, very strong overhead and a good finisher. Four goals now, clearly the leading goal kicker on the ground and still looms as the difference between the two sides. Four goals to two, the Cats, in this third term. They're looking good. Minson. Eagleton. Will want his left side. Comes back into play to get it. Looks to Johnson and why not? Well, I'll tell you what. I just watched that whole thing. Get a tape on that bloke and keep it on him. A camera, I mean. And you learn so much. Poor old Tom Harley just come back on. Scarlett's gone back to Chris Grant and gone straight on to Brad Johnson and he's going to take another mark and kick another goal. For number five, the superstar from the Western Bulldogs. You'd back him to convert and he has. Fifth mark for the quarter. Nine for the game. Still these names when you talk about the greats. You go Voss. You go Hurd, Buckley, you go Brad Johnson. Don't worry about that, Jim. Oh, I'm not worrying, Gary. It always well, amazes me. Well, give him some me. credit, please. It always amazes me how teams allow left-footed players to get onto their natural side. Mm -hmm. Just and don't understand it. Well, he read it beautifully, Johnson, because he stayed there, pointed out there, and bang. Six seconds left. Five seconds left. Great tackle. The siren's going to sound. The Cats have won it by a 